Hi everybody, everybody I'm back. Everybody, Jeannie Young is back and I'm back with yet another amazing recipe. I am so excited today because today at the Young's house, Jeannie Young is gonna share with you all how I make amazing chocolate chip cookies. Listen here, these chocolate chip cookies are unforgettable. They're so easy to make, they are mouth-watering, they do not require a lot of ingredients in. You make them Gina Young style, they're gonna be so tasty. Here are the lovely ingredients you will need. Y'all never had my chocolate chip cookies. You better make yourself. Okay everyone, so for the ingredients, you will need crushed pecans. The pecans is optional, you don't have to use it, but if you don't mind having nuts in your cookies, I highly suggest get you some pecans. We're gonna use one cup of pecans. You will need brown sugar. You're gonna need white granulated sugar. And over here you will need semi-sweet chocolate chips. You will need softened butter. You wanna make sure that your butter is unsalted. You're gonna need one egg and vanilla. Now, I'm gonna really bump up the vanilla flavor in these cookies. Now, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use the vanilla extract, but not only are we gonna use the vanilla extract, we're gonna also use vanilla bean. And we're gonna cut that vanilla bean open and we're gonna scrape all that goodness out and we're gonna have an amazing cookie. Now, we're gonna make this cookie extremely chewy. I love a chewy chocolate chip cookie. And how we're going to achieve that is we're gonna put some cornstarch in it. We're gonna put a whole tablespoon of cornstarch starch into our cookies. Of course you will need a half a teaspoon of baking soda and salt. Make sure your hands are impeccably clean. Let's get started with this really quick and simple yet so tasty recipe. Okay everyone, so the first thing that we want to do is we want to cream our butter and sugar together. Okay, so what we're gonna do, make sure, make sure that your butter is always room temperature so you can get a really good consistency of the batter. You want your cookies to turn out right. Don't have this butter cold, all right? Just like so. I'm gonna scrape all that butter off of there. I want all that goodness, all right? I hope you all are having an amazing day today as well as a great work week. The week is almost over, guys. Is anybody doing anything special for your day off or your weekend? Let me know in the comment section. I love when you all tell me what you're doing for the weekend. It's so interesting to hear all the different things that everyone is doing for their weekend or their day off. Okay, so I'm just scraping the butter into the bowl. And now we're gonna measure out our sugar. And you're going to need a half a cup of white sugar and a half a cup of the light brown sugar. I don't suggest using the dark brown. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to level this off so we can make sure that we have the right amount. I'll just level it right into my bag. Just like this and we're just going to use the bottom of the knife just to get it nice and level. Pretty simple? Absolutely it is. Every recipe that Gina Young's brings to you all is gonna be simple, and you can do it as well. It's gonna turn out exactly like mine's would. Trust me when I tell you this. Okay, so now we're gonna go in, and we're going to measure out, set my egg there, a half a cup of the brown sugar, same thing. Now when you measure your brown sugar, you wanna make sure that you pack the brown sugar. That's how you can get the correct measurement. And I'm gonna show you how you pack it. Okay, so I'm kinda of using my hand this way to pack it already, and when I bring it out, I'm gonna share with you all what packing it means. <clears throat> all right, let's move a couple things so you all can see. This is how you pack it. All right, you wanna make it nice and packed and level, okay? So now we have a half a cup of our light brown sugar going right in, just like so. Okay, so then we wanna cream 
our butter and sugar together before we put in our vanilla and our egg. Now my grandma always told me, cream that butter and sugar until the sugar starts to get silent. And my grandma Lucille, she would be making a pound cake and I would be over there and she'd say, honey, would you mind creaming the butter and the sugar for me? And so I would go to do it and she would have, I think it was a wooden bowl, and she would say, cream that butter and sugar until I can't hear the sugar anymore. And it felt like I was creaming it forever in a day and I'd be thinking, oh no, it's the worst. <laughs> but now that I'm older, I love it and I live by that. I'm gonna cream this butter and sugar. And you see, I'm using a soft spatula. I'm just gonna mix it together until I can't hear the sugar anymore. Okay, and it makes a lot of sense. It's gonna make, whether you're making a pound cake or cookies, it's gonna make it the best texture that you want, you know, when you're making cookies or a cake. So we're gonna cream this butter and sugar just like this. And I wanted to do this by hand on purpose to, sh to show you all that you don't have to have a handheld mixer. You don't have to have a stand-up mixer. Do it by hand, it's just fine. It's gonna turn out the exact way, even if you were to use one of those mixers. So I'm gonna continue to do this until the sugar gets nice and silent and our butter starts to get nice and kind of fluffy and a bright yellow in color. So after we achieve that, I'll be right back. Okay everyone, so we have our butter and our two sugars nice and cream. Come in so you can listen. Okay, and it's much different than earlier. Can you see that? It's nice and silent, okay? That's what you're wanting. Beautiful. So now we're gonna go ahead and put our teaspoon of vanilla right in. You're gonna do the wet ingredients together and then your dried ingredients, okay? So there's that, just like so. We're going to do a large egg and I'm gonna crack the egg into a separate bowl just in case we were to get an eggshell or a bad egg. You know, you wouldn't have to throw away this whole mixture. Nice, beautiful egg. Get that egg in there, just like so. And now what we're gonna do is take our vanilla bean. Your vanilla bean comes in this little glass bottle. It smells absolutely amazing. Let me show you something. All right, let me grab a knife here. And I wanna slice this open. Hold tight, guys. Okay, we're going to slice, just like so. Get the sharp part of your knife right into the vanilla bean and slice it open. We want to scrape out this goodness. There's a miracle. There's a miracle inside of this. Those of you that have never seen a vanilla bean before, here's what the inside looks like. It's a miracle inside of here. This is goodness that if you've never tasted before, you have to give it a try. Look, it almost looks as if there's coffee beans inside, but it's not. It's vanilla beans. All right, so watch this take our vanilla beans and we're going to scrape with the back of the knife and get get all that out of there oh yeah <laughs> you all ever had some ice cream with those little flecks of the vanilla in there that's what this is and that's how they achieve that beautiful flavor see this here get that in there my goodness talking about a chocolate chip cookie that is unforgettable you mean to tell me you're putting two types of vanilla in your cookie gina absolutely i am get all that goodness out of there get right in there all right i'm gonna scrape a little bit more out just like so oh yeah this smells so good i am a true fanatic <laughs> a true fanatic of vanilla all right now we're going to whisk this together which is make sure i got all that off of there which is our two vanillas our brown sugar our white sugar and our one egg I'm just going to mix it until that egg and that vanilla gets well incorporated take your time we're not rushing in this kitchen we're not going for a race 
when you have patience in that kitchen, trust me, you're gonna have, oh, it smells so good. <laughs> you're gonna have some amazing food. All right, I'm gonna keep on going. At this point, honestly, if you wanted to use a whisk, you could. Okay, sometimes I really just don't like cleaning my whisk off. <laughs> you know how everything gets stuck in the whisk and then you gotta go and take it out. Use a rubber spatula and you won't have that issue. All right, see how everything's coming together? Just like so, that butter is nice and creamed with the sugar. Oh, it smells so good. I'm so happy right now. And now what we're going to do, now that everything's well incorporated, come look what this should look like. Come and see how fluffy and nice and smooth and quiet this is. Okay, you should hear barely anything. Perfect. Okay, now that my mouth is watery, <laughs> I make my own mouth water in here. Okay, we're going to take our flour. This is one cup and one fourth, one and one fourth cup of all purpose flour. You can sift this if you want, or you don't have to. I didn't sift mine, so I'm not going to sift it. <laughs> we're going to put a half a teaspoon of baking soda in, and then we're going to go in with one tablespoon of cornstarch. You want a nice chewy cookie? The cornstarch is gonna do the trick. Now you can use a half a teaspoon of the salt or just a pinch. I'm just gonna use a pinch. A pinch will do the trick. But you definitely, you want that salt. Salt really makes a difference in desserts. Okay, it really, I'm just crushing together that salt between my fingers, okay? Get that in there just like so. The salt really makes a difference when you're making desserts. Trust me when I tell you this. All right? And that's it. So let's mix this up. Make sure that baking soda, that cornstarch, your flour gets well incorporated. Just like so. And then we're going to put the two together. We're going to take the wet mix put it in with the dried mix. You want to make sure your oven is on 325 degrees. And okay, so some of you might ask this question. I know it's a question in your head and I'm going to answer it before you ask. Some people say, okay, so Gina, every time I make cookies, I always use my same ice cream scoop or I always use a tablespoon. Why do some of my cookies always turn out different shapes? and sizes. Why do some of them spread and some of them stay, you know, nice and tall? Well, what happens is the temperature changes after we mix all, everything together. What I highly suggest is that after you get your, your cookie dough all formed up, let's take our cookie dough, we're going to put it in the refrigerator for an hour after we uh, you know, ball them up. We're going to put them onto our cookie sheet and in the refrigerator we go for an hour and let that dough set up. And then we're going to take them out of the refrigerator, let them sit for 10 minutes, and then you throw them in and you're going to have that perfect cookie. It's not going to be flat. It's just going to be like just so perfect. Trust me. Give it a try next time you make cookies. All right, so here's what we're going to do guys <laughs> my mouth is really watering okay so we want let me make, make sure one more time this is well incorporated I know some of you guys are like what she put cornstarch in her cookie dough you better believe I did I love chewy cookies all right get this in there just like so, and we're gonna mix it up. Once I start to mix this up, everyone, I'll be right back. Okay, everyone, so we wanna mix this up just like so, and you can see that I'm still using my rubber spatula at all times. This dough is so workable. It's so easy, it's nothing strenuous. You know, sometimes you work with different doughs and they're hard to turn, they're hard to mix. Not this dough, and that's what I love about this chocolate chip cookie recipe. I love a chocolate chip cookie recipe that has nuts in it and makes it absolutely amazing. 
I um, knew a lady years ago, and you all have heard me talk about her. She's a Puerto Rican lady. Um, and she made the best cookies for us. My goodness, these cookies, they had the pecans in it. They were just the best. And every time I make cookies, I try my hardest to imitate her cookies. I can't remember, you know, like it's been so many years if mine's is really imitating hers, but it's almost there if it's not yet there. <laughs> yes, yeah, she made the best. Okay, so at this point, here's what we're going to do. Now you can see that we have a nice amount of flour going on in here, which is fine. I'm happy with that. We're going to go ahead and add a cup and a half of the semi-sweet chocolate chips. Oh yeah. And then once we get the chocolate chips well incorporated, we're going to take our pecans and it's just a cup of pecans. We want to chop them up a little bit more than what they are. And then we'll throw them in. Okay, come look at this, guys. This is what this should look like. It's not too dry. It's not too wet. We have amazing cookie dough loaded with those chocolate chips. And that's what yours should look like. All right, so now here's what we're going to do. I'm going to grab a knife. I'm going to chop these up. And I'll be right back. Hey everyone, so we're going to chop up our pecans here. And honestly, if you wanted to, you can even toast these pecans. You better believe you could. You can toast them and give them an even greater taste. But if you're going to put them, you know, into your dough, you want to make sure if you toast them that you cool them down a little bit before they go in your dough. All right, I'm going to need to measure out once again a cup because I feel like once I've chopped them, that this makes more than a cup. So I'm gonna re-measure them. And then we're gonna throw them in, and I don't want them to chop them too small, because I want them to be, you know, just kinda chopped up however. I think that right there will do the trick. I don't want little teeny tiny pieces. I want you to know that those nuts are in there. So now, I'm going to grab this one cup just like so. Get that into the mix and we're just going to fold it in. This smells so beautiful right now. And I've done this all by hand. Nothing was hard. Nothing was strenuous. Simple piece of cake recipe that is going to knock your family members off of their socks. Is that the right term? Is it off of your socks or out of the socks? One or the other. Tell me in the comment section. All right, so now let's grab our cookie sheets. We're going to cook these on. And then once we get our cookies onto the cookie sheet, we're going to throw these in the oven for one hour. So now, where is my spoon? I'll be right back. Okay, everyone, correction. I believe that I just said we're going to put our cookies into the oven for an hour. But what I meant was after we scoop our cookies onto our cookie sheet, we're going to put them in the refrigerator for an hour so they can set up. All right, so watch this. We're using a one tablespoon. And you can go a little over. That's fine. No issues there. All right. And you're just going to kind of drop them you know, and shape them how you like, just like so. And you want to make sure that you separate them for sure, because keep in mind that they will spread some. Going in the oven, not right now, but when they come out of the refrigerator, they're going to go in the oven on 325, and I already have my oven preheating. My mouth is salivating right now. You should smell this amazing vanilla. And using that extra vanilla out of the vanilla bean is really going to make a difference in your cookies. You all wanted a good cookie recipe. This is it, guys. This is it. All right, so we're going to put a couple more on here. 
and you know I'm not going to overfill my cookie sheet. I there's one problem that I always have when I make cookies, and it is that my cookies somehow always stick together. They're always delicious, but I am demanding that these cookies today are not going to stick together. <laughs> They're not going to do it because I'm not going to pile a whole lot onto my cookie sheets. These cookie sheets are non-stick. All right, I'm just going to put six on this one. You might be able to fit nine, but I'm going to put six. All right, so now I'm going to fill the other one just like so. It looks beautiful outside, guys. What's the weather? What is the weather where you all are? And then I have a bigger one here. We're going to cook our cookies on the middle rack. Just like so. You can use parchment paper if you like. A lot of people love to use parchment paper when baking. It's just something I don't really use a lot. Unless I'm doing something like a baked fish in parchment paper, you know. But other than that, I really don't use it a lot for baking. Here's this. Beautiful. It smells so good. And there's one thing we're going to do. I'm going to put a few more onto this baking sheet. There's one more thing I have to do. Gina, you have to taste the dough. I'm going to taste this dough. My mouth's not going to stop watering until I taste this here dough. Because I know exactly how good it is. It's even better. And listen, these cookies... When you eat them warm, they're amazing. You eat them room temperature, amazing. You eat them cold, amazing. And if you have a nice glass of cold uh, milk with ice, listen here. Honey, it's going to take you to a whole nother world. All right, now I have to go in and taste this. I want chocolate chips and all. I know, I know, I know. I know you all people are out there and you're going to say, Gina, don't do it. Don't taste the dough. It has raw egg in it. Don't do it. Mmm. 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 It's good. Mmm. It's so good. Raw cookie dough has never hurt me. <laughs> it's never hurt any of my family members. I'm going to always eat raw cookie dough. It's a guilty pleasure of mine. <laughs> when it's raw, it tastes better. <laughs> I'm so serious. All right, we'll put this last one on. I am going to put four more cookies after this row. And they're going in the oven. After an hour, we'll be back. We're going to bake up some amazing chocolate chip cookies. Gina Young style. Okay everyone, so our cookies have chilled in the refrigerator for around about an hour. Now what you want to do is you want a little bit of the chill to come off. So I'm just going to let them sit on the counter on this same cookie sheet for maybe 10 minutes and then we'll throw them in the oven 325 degrees. Now I want to show you all what we've done with the extra cookie dough. So I just scraped the cookie dough out of the bowl just like so and I put it in plastic wrap. You can use parchment paper, wax paper, whatever you would like to use. Okay, so what we've done is we've literally taken the cookie dough and I kind of smashed it this way and you want to form it. Once it's formed, you can start to roll it, okay? Just like so, it's really simple. And then when you want some cookies, you might only want three or four cookies. And then when you want some cookies, you can go in, unroll it, and just slice off three or four cookies and bake them bad boys. Okay, and you'll still have leftover cookie dough. So here's what I did. I just continued to roll it, just like so. And once you get it nice and tight, you just kind of turn the sides, okay, and make it nice and flat just like so and that's it just make it look like the kind that you buy in the store okay so then few minutes we're gonna come back I'm gonna throw these in the oven I'm gonna say an amazing prayer and we're gonna let them cool down just a little bit and you all are gonna get that first bite be back hey everyone so our cookies have you know we've taken some of the chill off by letting them sit for around about 10 minutes they're going in the oven right now and i'm going to come right back and we're going to get this prayer we're going to say our prayer 
because I know as soon as these come out of the oven, I'm going to be ready to taste them and dip them into a nice cup of ice cold milk. So let me put them in the oven just like so. I'm putting them in the middle rack. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, we thank you for today and for every day. Lord, we thank you for your love, time, your mercy, and your understanding. Please forgive us for our sins. Come into our hearts. We make you our Lord and Savior. Send your angels down to surround us day and night and your Holy Spirit to help us make good decisions. Give us peace over our mind in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your mercy your love, time, and your understanding. Devil, we bind you in the name of Jesus. Devil, you have no authority over this household. In Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the roof over our head, the food, the love, the peace, and the joy that you bring us every day, Lord. We thank you for that. Amen. Okay, everyone, our cookies are out of the oven. They cooked for 15 minutes to perfection. Now I did something really jazzy to make these cookies pop, to make them just look beautiful. This is like picture perfect cookies here, guys. And when you taste them, chow please. All right, listen, if you all enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time Gina Young uploads one of these awesome recipes. Tell your family and friends and everybody you know. Tell the whole world about Gina Young and what I'm doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. Absolutely. Let's dive in. But before we dive in, we do want to plate them up so we can get a good picture for our thumbnail. Take a look at these amazing cookies. Gina Young style. You want some nice chocolate chip cookies? This is the way. Now when I said I did something special to them to make them look perfect picture was there's two different things. We put the cornstarch in the cookies. Keep in mind that that cornstarch is going to help for your cookie to be nice and chewy and it also helps for the cookie to be nice and fluffy as well. You see how fluffy these bad boys are? And the second thing that we done was as soon as your cookies come out, now this trick you have to do this as soon as they come out. I took chocolate chips and I just kind of nestled them right in the nooks and crannies and they melt it. You see that? They melt it right into the cookie. You know, they barely melt it and they make for a beautiful cookie. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Take a bite. Oh, baby. You better make you some. All right. So here's what we're going to do. The cookies, <laughs> they're cooling down and my mouth is watering. I can't wait. I can't wait. Look how fluffy they are. Is this what you call a chocolate chip cookie? Baby, this is a chocolate chip cookie. You never had one before like this? Well, now you can because Gina Young has given you all an amazing recipe so you can make them at home. You can wow your family and friends and loved ones with nice, fluffy, soft, crunchy at the bottom, moist in the middle, vanilla flavored chocolate chip cookie. Keep in mind that we put that extra vanilla. Oh, you better believe we did. We put vanilla bean and vanilla extract in these cookies. Hooey, girl, <laughs> you are something else in that kitchen. You hear me? Hooey. I'm going to get a glass of milk. We're not going to, we're not going to taste this without that glass of milk. I want the perfect cookie to test. Which cookie are we going to use? Let's get a nice big fluffy one. They're all big and fluffy, but we'll go in for that one. I'm going to grab my milk <laughs> and I'll be right back. Look at these guys. Look how gorgeous. Let's taste them. Let's taste them right now. I can't wait any longer. Look at this. Oh, hey, hey. But I know, I know you want to take a peek down in the inside of this cookie. So we're going to cut it before we taste it. Oh, the anticipation. Oh, 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 oh it's so chewy in the inside. My goodness. All right, here's what you see. 
You heard how it's nice and crispy on the outside, crispy at the bottom, and you can see the chewiness. You can actually see just how chewy. Oh, <laughs> girl, taste that. I'm going in. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. <laughs> This cookie, I can't even get it out. This cookie recipe is so good. You have to make this for your family and friends and all of your loved ones. Mm. Mm -hmm. should be illegal to sell cookies this doggone good these cookies right here are gonna make you want to smack somebody you hear me taste that one more time mm. come on in come on in on the milk we got the milk we got the ice cold milk oh we're gonna do that little donkey dunk little donk 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 Gina Young style now we're gonna go in oh my goodness mmm Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Back in. Back in. Oh my goodness, girl. Girl. Who you better make you some? Mm. Mm -hmm. mm -mm -mm. Tell everybody you know about Gina Young. As always, God bless you all. Thank you all for watching. Good night. That's good. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs>